6 in HD, dozens of buildings along Highway 51 sit abandoned in Sand Springs years after the Hissom Memorial Center closed. Two News reporter Sarah Goldenberg found the city's trying to find a new use for the site. Sarah? Russ, this old state institution sits on 170 acres. Now the city hopes rezoning it will bring more developers and jobs too. Cracked windows, cobwebs, and peeling paint now fill dozens of buildings where children once played. For 30 years, the Hissom Memorial Center was home to hundreds of people with developmental disabilities. The state shut the institution down in the early 90s after a controversial lawsuit. Later on in time, especially in high school, we kept hearing, you know, horror stories of possible abuse that was going on and things like that. And it was a place that everybody knew it was there, but nobody really particularly wanted to visit it. I.J. Ganim grew up in Sand Springs. He used the site to shoot a film a few years ago. It's always had kind of a spooky overtone to it. I don't, I don't know how else to say it. But since then, he hasn't seen the land used for anything. It's kind of a shame that there's this much property uh, and, and these buildings that are sitting here just basically rotting. The city of Sand Springs hopes that will soon change. So the area here along Highway 51, this is uh, Raider Center, and this is the project. City planner Rachel Klein says the property is zoned into several different sections, which restricts what builders can do with it. So the city is trying to rezone it all for industrial use. I would love to see, uh, you know, uh, a company, uh, whether it's uh, retail, uh, industrial, manufacturing, whatever, come in and just gobble up all of that space and bring jobs and sales tax and other types of revenue to the cities. The land is co-owned by the state and OSU, but the city has taken an interest in its potential. Klein says if it sells, the buildings will most likely be raised. I think it'll be a little bit sad for some people to see it gone because it did serve so many so well for a very long time, but it has set vacant and it's, it's time to move on. Now the Planning Commission will hold two public meetings on zoning in the next few weeks. Live in Sand Springs, Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you. Tulsa County.